All right, so you might be wondering why I've, why I've called you to this very important meeting today. I I sure am wondering that. All right. Have you ever heard of a, a, a cool game called Stardew Valley before? You know what? I think that I have. So, like, you know how there's, like, um, 12 different bachelors that you can marry? Uh-huh. So I've taken the liberty of finding the best one for our shared interests of Harvey. <laughs> Oh no! And today we're going to be reading it. Oh no! You don't like it? No, I love it. All right. Trust me. I like. I was looking through, and most of the books have been discontinued. But I tried to find a oh. really a good one that was like goodly written and also like not very like super mature. You know, like yeah. So here it is. I sent you the link. Doctor Harvey X Reader. So am I the narrator today? Then we're just going to do popcorn reading while we read this. Okay, okay. Love. So I guess we should start with the, the, what are they called? The description. Okay. All right. Being being new to farming, you don't really know what's going on. All you, fuck, I can't read. (laughs) All on your own and nonetheless, it takes... It doesn't take long for worse to happen, landing you at home next morning with no regulation of how you got there, and a very kind letter from the local doctor who had saved your night, day, saved your life the night before. Sure, he had to charge you, otherwise he wouldn't make money for food. But by some kindness, nobody ever shown you. I can't read. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start off on. On, par- on part one, Welcome to Stardew Valley. Would you like to read the first paragraph? <laughs> oh boy, sure. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. After a year of nonstop typing in your little cubicle in the Joja Company, things got depressing and boring. Life always felt meaningless, and your boss reminded you how easily you would be replaced should you fuck up. The day-to-day nothingness combined with the bills and traffic of the city began to slowly eat away at your humanity. Yo, this sounds like working <laughs> like in general. <laughs> One day you open your drawer looking for a pen and notice the envelope that your grandfather, who had passed away the year before. You remember his offer to own and maintain his beautiful farm you grew up playing in on the summer days when school was out. Fond memories of finding toys and trinkets in the dirt with Papa brings involuntary tears. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, <there you> go. <laughs> Sorry, the papa took me out. <laughs> papa. Papa playing in the dirt with papa. <laughs> playing in the dirt with papa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Deciding to toss your terrible life to the wind, you trashed your cubicle and walked Where? out smiling, ready to start anew. Confidence drained away as you rode the bu- long bus ride to Stardew Valley. Five miles to go, and you realize with a sinking feeling, you know nothing about owning a farm. Can you overwater plants? Sure, there wouldn't be any bills, but you would need some money for food and Wi-Fi, right? Uh, correction, you can't overwater plants. I did that with a cactus. You absolutely can overwater plants. I don't even know how I did it. I just fucking overwatered a cactus. (laughs) God. As the bus pulled to the stop, you reminded yourself there is no going back. Grabbed your bags and stepped off the bus. Waiting for you was a redhead lady with a brown vest, yellow shirt, and jeans. She smiled and approached you. I want to pose a side note that my boy started playing Stardew Valley, and he, go- he mm-hmm. went to the intro where he met Robin. And he was right. like, oh my god. I'm like, no, you cannot marry her. And he was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's kind of mid. I don't know. Maybe it's because cause she had redhead. <laughs> Okay, yeah, fine. Yeah. Okay. I, okay, there it is. Hello, you must be a new farmer. I'm Robin, local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. Her eyes were bright with excitement. I had emailed the mayor just to double check I would be able to live on the farm rent free as I only had $500 for food and essentials. Nice. I love That's how, probably all I uh, have in my checking right now is five <laughs> I love how um the like it was second person and now it's first person. Yeah. 
excellent writing. I love the comment that just says, I can turn that into 500k in two years. <laughs> All right, I'll just read these two, since it's like okay. one sentence yeah. in a paragraph. Yeah. Nice to meet you, I smiled awkwardly, shaking her hand. The farm's right over here. If you follow me, she turned and walked past the fence surrounding the bus stop. Why do they spell bus with two S's? I'm just realizing. I don't know. They keep doing it, and it's, like, wigging me out. I I don't feel the need to mention I had grown up here, and I already know the way. As we walked only five minutes down the dirt road, we came upon the old cabin. Excitement filled me, followed by bittersweet sorrow that I wouldn't find my beamy grandpa inside ready to hug me and offer me fresh blueberries. As we walked up, I noticed how trashed and overgrown the place has become in Papa's absence. This is kind of depressing, I just realized. Yeah. Like, I never gave much thought into the, the setting of the game, but it's it's a little, it's like, a little damn. I yeah, know a little bit. things I've seen on TikTok about that. I was like, I just played this for a farming game, but now I gotta <laughs> deal with, like, Shane's alcoholism and this guy's it's, being depressed. Yeah. <laughs> When I didn't know a lot about the game, and I thought it was just a farm game, and then I saw people posting about, like, shit, I, I died in the mon- in the mines, too many monsters down there. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, this is a farm game. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, should I just read those two? Yeah. Okay. This is your farm, Robin beamed, glancing back at me. She gave a worried look. What's wrong? It's... I didn't want to sound rude, so I stopped myself. Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. She looked over the land with a smile. A little elbow grease and you'll have it cleaned up in no time. I grimaced. By myself? This place looks awful. I thought she had said the mayor was going to. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the new farmer, Mr. Lewis, came walking out of the cabin. Welcome. Everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day we get a new resident. It's a big deal. He laughed heartily. Panic started to set in. Just how many people did he tell I was coming? I'm glad you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good home. Very rustic. All the homies hate Mayor Lewis. <laughs> That's one way to put it, Robin laughed. Krusty might be a little more apt, though. Lewis gave her a stern look. You should get some rest. You might be tired from the journey. Lewis grab- guided Robin towards the dirt road into the village. Tomorrow you should explore and introduce yourself to everyone. Have a good night. He waved as the two of them walked off. Mary Lewis stopped and turned back to me. I spelled they spelled wave wrong. Wait, really? Oh. Yeah, they put an I in it. <laughs> Didn't even realize it. <laughs> I'm hyper aware of every single mistake that this author is making. Hey, it's better than some fan fiction I read before. Oh no, yeah, this is like, this is it, like it's top-tier. it's doing okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the early morning to close to the dirt road. Well, good luck. I waved them a thank you and slumped my bags into the old cabin. Dusty. But it came with a fireplace and a nice enough looking TV that sat on the floor. Papa's old table and his old bed made and ready for me. What the hell am I gonna do? I tossed my things <laughs> and slumped in the bed, not even bothered to put the covers before I passed out. All right. What do you think Perfect. so far? We we got through the intro. Hell yeah. Continue to next part. <laughs> How to farm? Question mark. I love it already. <laughs> oh man. How many parts does this have? I believe there's seven. Oh good gracious! It's All right. Sure. A lot of these are just continued. I guess people don't like mm-hmm. that much. Which is like sad. Dude, I saw someone doing rankings, and they were, like, for, like, the men, and they're, like, mm-hmm. Shane, number six. I'm, like, yes, absolutely. He's, mm-hmm. like, low as shit. And then number yeah. five, they put Harvey. I'm, like, why? No. No one understands. And they're, like, we would have put Harvey as number six, but if it wasn't for Shane's god-awful personality, then... Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm like, wow, I cannot believe that. No, I think she... <laughs> I can't. God. Alright, do you want to start the first one? Uh, I started the, the first one, so okay. you can you can do this one. Okay, okay. The bewildering croak of the rooster woke me at the crack of dawn. I checked my watch. 6 a.m.? Fuck. <laughs> I, I tried to <laughs> roll over and sleep again, but I found I could not. 
Angrily, I got out of bed. On the floor was a backpack and a small box. The pack pack contained tools, an axe, a hoe, watering can, pickaxe, and scythe. What do I need all this for? Don't you just need a watering can and hoe? I don't... It's not like I'm mining to the center of the earth or becoming a lumberjack. I lunged... I lunge on the semi-heavy backpack and open the box. We're, we're getting more descriptive in this chapter. I getting know. more more prose. Hell yeah, we okay. actually have to improvise. <laughs> <laughs> Going on a, a journey reading this. Absolutely. Uh, okay. Yes. All right. Seeds? A small note from Mayor Lewis. Here's a little something to help you get started. I frowned. Welcome to the farm life. <laughs> Not exactly ready to tackle the huge mess on the farm, I decided to take the mayor's advice and wander around town. So I took my backpack and headed out. You're not gonna plant your seeds? <laughs> yeah, like what? You got a pack of seeds and you're going into town. Damn. The first building I saw in town was new and improved doctor's office. Man, they must have gotten a new owner. It looks great. The new general... I, the, the way I said that made it sound sarcastic. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the general store right next to it had a calendar posted on the bulletin board outside the door. And everyone's birthdays listed in the egg hunt event on the 13th. Great events. <laughs> God, this author is really not loving the farm life. And yeah. I... You, you, fuck this author. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great opportunity. Oh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> As I was reading, I noticed a man pass by. He had short purple hair, stubble, and an old torn Joji team jacket. I saw his face. <laughs> was it Shane? <laughs> it's Shane. Is it Shane? I don't think Shane has purple hair though. It might just be because of the the sprite. Oh, maybe. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's the only one with a torn Joji team team jacket because he looks like yeah. a homeless man. <laughs> This is a Shane club. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I felt his pain. <laughs> I doubt that you did. He's got a lot going on. Oh, I approached, trying to smile politely. Hi, I'm... I don't know you. He frowned, clearly upset. Why are you talking to me? I stood there, taken aback by his rudeness. Before I can mutter a response, a short, thick woman appeared. Thick woman. The thick woman. Thick woman. <laughs> she had long brown hair in a loose braid. She wore orange blouse and a, with a green apron and had a bright smile I'd seen all week. I, I kind of want her, not gonna lie. What, Marnie? Like, a little bit. Yeah. Why like, can't you romance Marnie? She's single. Yeah, like, well, I, I guess she's with Lewis. Sorry to spoil for all of the non... Yeah, they fuck. Anyways. <laughs> uh, they, they, they really do... God, that one TikTok you sent where it's like... Or maybe I said it, I don't know. It started a TikTok where it was like Lewis after I throw his purple shorts in the soup. <laughs> That shit gets me. Absolutely, that was good. Oh my god. Okay. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. She extended her hand and shook mine with grace. The wa man walked off without another word. Forgive my nep nephew. Shane has to go to work, so he doesn't have time to talk. So true. That's okay. I watched for a moment before returning Marnie's smile. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. She trailed off towards the store. Have a good day. She waved as she entered the door, dinging as she opened it. I frowned. I bet she... I bet he hates his job. He's... No, I'm not saying... No, stop. <laughs> After wandering around and meeting a few others, I headed to the beach. When it... Okay. Oh, when it comes to Shane, like... Ah... Uh, <laughs> Like I, I can't I don't even see Shane is attractive at all. He's like a home he's like more he looks more homeless than Linus. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, at least Linus can commit to a beard. Like Yes. <laughs> with Shane, he looks like I, I am not interested in him whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to his issues, like, you know, 
people have issues. I get it. But he's just a dick. It's like, <laughs> he sucks. Yeah, he's like constantly rude to you, and then he like bursts yeah. in your face at one point while in yeah. the conversation. It's, it's gross. <laughs> yeah, like that's not even like a side effect of the alcoholism. He just sucks. Trying to think, yeah, because like that note I found that's talking about like the all the uh, the older bachelors with yeah. Harvey, Elliot, and Shane. Mm-hmm. Shane is like in his like thirties, and he's fucking sad. He is. <laughs> Too sad. <laughs> I would say get a job, but he has one, so yeah. I can't. I can't insult him that way. But yeah, he's a loser. Take a shower. <laughs> Take a shower. Have you ever heard this thing called deodorant? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, have you seen that one image where it's like Fluttershy? And she has a bag of like body wash, and she's like, "I have something for you, but don't get mad, okay?" <laughs> <laughs> I have to find it. I'm sorry Please to interrupt the reading. Well, while you while you find that, you want me to read the next paragraph? Sure. All right. I took in the view and sat on a towel someone had abandoned and sighed. I took the time to relax and eat some of the grapes I had bought. As I sat, I noticed a young boy walk onto the beach where I had previously been alone. I was thankful he didn't come right up to me, hooping and hollering about how. He had heard I was coming and, and, and what have you. A young boy. A young boy. <laughs> I watched him toss his football into the air for a while before I decided I would go and speak to him just to be nice. He didn't notice me approaching. Hello, I began. Oh, oh, hey, you must be the new guy girl, huh? He caught his ball before stopping to turn to me. Oh, yeah, I thought maybe there. Oh, fuck, hold on. Ha- yeah, thought maybe you were the one who hadn't heard of me. I chuckled at the ground. He laughed, tossing his ball again. Why do we chuckle at the ground? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck is there to chuckle at? <laughs> we got issues. Uh, a little bit, yeah. It's okay, fuck it, we ball. We balling. Well, he's we balling right in. now. He's got the. He's, got he's the ball. absolutely balling. <laughs> he's absolutely balling out here. What a mad lad! <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to read the next bit, or should I just like the next couple dialogues? No, I can read. The, I can just finish the dialogue. Okay. Everyone has. I'm Alex. I thought. I think we're gonna get along great. He smiled. Damn. Well, I gotta go farm or something. I said awkwardly <laughs> walking off. I'll see you around. He turned around, tossing his ball higher than before. <laughs> Our Riz is Our awful. Riz. It's terrible. We don't have Riz. It's in the we negatives. Negative <laughs> we really need to grow, like, plant Riz seeds. <laughs> We're, We're all out. Farm some Riz right now. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta go water my wrist. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, I think it's your turn now. <laughs> it is my turn, okay. I walked all the way through town, thankfully going unnoticed by anyone else. I don't know how much more I can take of this. <laughs> I walked all the way to the old playground. I loved seeing it. I used to spend hours here, pretending I was a pirate, fending off the English. I sh- uh, I followed the path for a while and passed an old building, run down and overgrown. Farther along, I- uh, Sorry. <laughs> I came along a large cabin. What's this place? This whole area used to be empty. So, I went and knocked. Without the letter K. A quiet, come in, could be heard. I stepped in to see Robin behind the counter. Tools set in different places. She smiled at me. Hey, have you met everyone yet? I hope. That sounds exhausting, she laughed. Have you planted any crops yet? No, I need to. If you want to turn a profit, here, I'm off in 30 minutes. I can come by and help you set up everything. How are we... Yeah. So, um, the author's note? Yeah, I just read it too. I'm like, oh my god, no. <laughs> Don't say um, I haven't warned you what is gonna happen. Wow. I'm, I'm scared yet intrigued. How do we go from, oh, uh, I hate meeting everyone in town, to warning, sexual parts coming up? <laughs> like, uh, where's the transition? 
<laughs> there was no transition. There's Death. literally none. Death? What is happening? <laughs> We're gonna die. I cannot follow this line of narrative. <laughs> Alright. Oh, do you want me to start the paragraph? or? Um, you started the last one, so I can do this one. Oh, uh, what is going on? Fishing sucks. At least I suck at it. I tried, but I tried it, but in a week I was only able to catch maybe five tiny sardines and a sunfish. As soon as the Joji Company knocked loose the boulders blocking the bridge, I met Marlin, who introduced me to the wonders of the mines. Oh man, he handed me that sword, and I knew I found my place. For the first twenty levels were easy, though I had to make torches. I found so many rocks and killed bugs and slimes galore. This sounds like my boy. Like, he was just like, I don't want to be farming. I want to fish and, like, beat their shit out of, like, I monsters. No peace. Only no violence. Peace. What a damn fun place. I was on my third day mining, <laughs> slaying it. When I began to feel dizzy. I must have been hit too many times with the slime be because I blacked out. I heard someone speaking in the dark. What happened? Said him or her down there. <laughs> Yeah, we got slimed. Oh, we just got fucking slimed. Sounds that like we're sounds about gross. to get slimed with that damn author's note. Okay, I'm scared. Me too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when I woke up the next morning, it was raining outside. The quiet drops hitting the window was what woke me. Instead of the usual annoying as fuck rooster alarm, my head was throbbing and I didn't remember how I'd made it home. I sat up in bed looking around. Someone must have carried me here. Oh shit, sorry, I didn't realize you were dead. You were too invested. I was really invested. Too immersed. My children were falling, my little squishmallows. <laughs> the I realized squishies. I had bandages around my arms where bugs had cut me, and one around my head where I must have been hit where I must have hit a rock when I passed out. Who had done this? Some weirdo was in my house. I jumped out of bed and grabbed my sword and pack, ready to find out. I was sore, but on my way out, I noticed my mailbox had a red flag. Yeah, it was Shane. <laughs> I found this pizza in the back of the Joji Mart. If you want. <laughs> <laughs> he folds it up and shoves it in your mailbox. Oh my god. Uh, name, someone dropped you off at the clinic last night. You were badly hurt. You've got to take better care of yourself and stay away from the mines. It's not safe. I've billed you two hundred for the medical expenses, <laughs> Dr. Mario. <laughs> <laughs> we like, started out with 500, and now we have 300. <laughs> no, we bought some grapes, so it's gonna be oh, less. Oh, shit. Oh, we're broke. <laughs> Dude, we are not balling out here. No, we're not. I love how this Harvey X reader starts out with him billing us two hundred dollars. <laughs> nice romance. Oh, like we didn't get to meet him, like like handshake or anything. We didn't. No, we Our just first showed up with Harvey. Clinic. Is him bandaging us up and sending <laughs> us a bill for two hundred dollars. <laughs> He's like, "What happened?" And we're just like, "The bugs," <laughs> and then we pass the out. Bugs. The bugs. <laughs> Dr. Harvey. I read the name out loud. I realized I haven't been to the new clinic and haven't heard of this doctor either. I decided I should go into town and have war with him. I got there at 8. The stupid sign said they won't be open until 9. I waited for a whole hour, expecting the doctor to show up for a shift. Was he skipping today? Did he ex expect I... Did he ex oh, fuck. Did he <laughs> expect I would be upset and confront him so he's taking a sick day? God. Um, when the clinic opened, I barged in. A young girl was standing at the front desk in a white nurse uniform. This shit reminds me this? of like yeah. when Pierre's like finally gets open and you just barge mm -hmm. in. Yes. <laughs> the crack of the hour. <laughs> uh, that that's a very satisfying feeling though. Like going in immediately upon opening. Do you need to see the doctor? She smiled. Yes. Can I? Hey, aren't you name? She grinned. I'm Maru. Having a night, having a new face around here really changes the dynamic of the town. It's really exciting. The doctor? I persisted, trying to peer through the small window in the door behind her. She frowned at being ignored, and I felt bad, but she pointed to the door closest to me. Right through that door, she opened her pen. Oh, she picked up her- sorry. <laughs> she picked up her pen. He's in the office on the left. She snapped her pen in half! <laughs> I thought she said she- what did I say? Like <laughs> she opened her pen. Yeah, <laughs> she opened I mean, the ink cartridge enough. inside. <laughs> <laughs> she 
she rips that shit right out. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Thanks, I muttered as I pushed through the door and down the hallway. I didn't bother to knock on the office door. He was sitting at a desk facing away from me. Oh, hello, name. He turned smiling. His hair was lazily brushed, his glasses fixed on his face just the right way. His professional green suit and red tie only added to his mature demeanor, his mustache. <laughs> I started to panic. <laughs> I, I thought I knew what was going, what I was going to say, but he is just so cute. I wanted to be angry, but I <laughs> could tell I was blushing. Oh my god, um, this is a lot to take it. <laughs> oh, Wattpad! Absolutely, this is great. <laughs> this is top tier literature. Dude, ten I love ten. Me some green coated characters, my god. For real. That mustache. I started panicking. <laughs> God. <laughs> That's how when I felt my head hit the wall. <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> so fucking true. That was us in the mines. Absolutely. When we passed out. <laughs> okay, right? We were like, this when my head hit the wall. Boom. Our head like skull splits open on a rock. <laughs> Start bleeding out. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. How are you Very feeling? Injured. Yeah. How are you feeling? He stood and approached me. I almost ran, offset by his sudden closeness. He reached and grabbed my arm gently, looking over his work. These can be removed now. Would you like me to? Absolutely. He looked at me with his dark eyes, concerned on his brow. <laughs> Something got in my throat. I couldn't do anything but gaze at him in a haze and nod. He smiled and walked and grabbed scissors. This is how I was when I met Elliot. Just like, holy fuck. So true, so true. The man ever. I watched his eyes as he focused on slowly cutting off my bandages. When he got to my head, he paused, probably noticing my staring. I looked down, completely embarrassed. He cut off the bandage and inspected the small knot on my forehead. Well, it's not completely healed yet. He placed his cool hand on my probably red cheek. And you might have a s small fever. Would you like some Tylenol? That would help the fever and any pain you might be feeling. <laughs> no, I mean, I took a step back. He looked worried. I'm okay, really. I couldn't take this anymore. I had to leave. I hurried out the door as he called to me. Stay safe, okay? Oh no, this is our final warning. Oh man, I don't- I can't even imagine how it gets to that, though. Damn, you know what's funny about this? When I was reading what? this over, just I just mm -hmm. skimmed it. I only got to this part. I did not even mm -hmm. read the author's name. <laughs> oh no. So I, I, I mean, it didn't list it as mature, so I mm -hmm. thought it was good. You're yeah, like, in the intro, you were like, I scoured the earth to find one that isn't mature. <laughs> no, I just no. Well, usually on like Wattpad, they have like the like the complete ongoing rail. Oh updated. yeah, this thing didn't have the mature thing. At least I didn't think. It wow, did. this this author um strives to jump scare, and they have succeeded. I'm scared now. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm I don't scared. even know what to expect. We can quit at any time. Just let you. Know. <laughs> is this really happening? Oh. <laughs> Alright, I'll start the next paragraph out of brain. Okay. Brain. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up in darkness. Had the fireplace gone out? I tried to move, but the covers were off of me and my arms and legs wouldn't budge. I felt like they had been tied to my bed. I could hear rain hitting my window and a flash of lightning silhouette someone standing by my bed. I panicked trying to un I don't like this. Okay, all right. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm like skimming the next couple paragraphs. This is I don't like oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. <laughs> Who is this? This is Dude. <laughs> Yo, this is better no. not be funny, I swear to fuck. <laughs> if it Dog. It is. It is. It is. Dude. <laughs> no. I'm skewing through the red. No. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. What this the is hell bad. happened? This is bad. Is we we have. Um... Wait, is it a dream? I want to just see. Oh, it is a dream. Uh, oh my god, oh. it's a dream. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I'm it's just gonna skip and read this part right here. Okay. 
I sat up straight in bed. The goddamn rooster said it was 6 a.m. again. It was bright, sunny day outside. And my, I don't want to read that. Part. Oh, all right. Oh my god, what is wrong? Yes, what is wrong yeah, with you? It's wrong with you. I took extra time watering my plants, thinking over my very odd dream. I haven't dreamt about someone like that. I felt so real. After some since after some serious consideration, I needed to decide. I decided I needed to see Doctor Harvey. No, you do not. <laughs> you should um move again. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> Leave again. If you meet the guy and then dream that, I mean, I. I would leave. <laughs> Just be like, I cannot show my face in town. Yeah, no. Can. I don't want to think about this man ever. That was that was fucked up. Okay. I chopped down a tree or two until it was 9am. Then I casually made my way to the clinic. When I arrived, I saw he was at the front desk this morning. He smiled at me nonchalantly. Dude, how do you, how do you even like... You have a very odd dream like that, and you wake up and you're mm -hmm. like, I have to see this doctor again. <laughs> yeah, what's your deal? Yeah, what do you say to him? You'd be like, I have I think this really the... weird dream, and we need to be together. <laughs> yeah, like, I think the only doctor you should be seeing after that is a psychiatrist. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Good morning, name. He pulled out a cup of coffee from behind the desk and sipped at, as I approached the counter. You're looking better. Is something wrong? His brow froze at my expression. I felt like if my mouth were to open, I would start drooling. Oh, come His on. His open, not yet, button. he just got to work. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, we rolled out of bed. Oh, how do you get here so early? I never see you come in. I tried to focus. Oh, I live in the small apartment complex above the clinic. It's just enough space and convenient, he smiled. <laughs> Do you, How do you to get do into one? my house without a key? I tried to force the question with question to sound demanding. Mm. I, I wasn't gonna read that. Part. No, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> he frowned a bit, setting his coffee down. In his later years, I visited your grandfather every day to make sure he was okay and comfortable. I brought him lunch as he as I got off at around one most days. He showed me where he kept the spare key, so I wouldn't be locked out if he forgot to leave it unlocked. He studied my expression. Are you sure you're feeling okay? <laughs> this has, like, gone in every direction it possibly could. I didn't think it would be like this. Like, uh, <laughs> the chapter title is extremely accurate. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, f I'm fine. Thank you, Harvey. I tried to forget the echo of... <laughs> in my mind. Okay. <laughs> I had to leave. I couldn't stand <laughs> This is so much! Okay. I heard him call out to me as I left. Feel free to stop by anytime. If you're feeling ill, what am I gonna do? I am also asking that question. Just when, just when proceeds to fall back to sleep. From the what? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I... I'm like stunned. Dude, I love this artwork. There more. Right here. No, yeah, that's that's impressive. It's uh, stolen artwork with yeah. no credits. Dude, I'm I just laughed so hard I'm fucking crying. Oh my god, it's <laughs> fucking funny. It's so out there. Okay, I'll, I'll be brave and read the first paragraph. Okay. All right, I, I just give the first paragraph just to make sure we're good. Yeah. That morning, I had to chase away crows eating my crops. Wasn't it crows are considered bad luck or something? I decided I would head to the mines to clear my head of the events of yesterday's and the second dream I had last night. Whoa. Why'd you have another dream? Second dream. Oh, no. That's the dream now. Are we, are we going over it? We're gonna skip it. Okay, As I hosted right. bags of coal and copper or slaying countless slime, my mind kept traveling back to it, and we're gonna skip and skip and yeah. skip and skip and skip and skip, skip, skip. Oh my god, there's some... I'm skimming it out of curiosity, just to see... Alright, okay. Alright, and, right. and then it and ended. Then it ended. <laughs> <laughs> I might read it later, um, to be like, oh my god. Yeah. You want, okay. me to, you want me to read the, the next paragraph? Okay. I, I got it. It's okay. okay. <laughs> you want me to good? No, yeah. 
And then it ended. I woke to the rooster reminding me that it never happened. Thank God. I did not visit the doctor that day. I kept away for the better part of the season, fearful that seeing him would only make the dreams worse. But they didn't get any less intense. Great. <laughs> they kept coming night after night. One day, while heading to Pierre's, I ran into the doctor, headed there as well. He smiled at me. That's nice. Dahmer it's kind. a nice guy. Why did you do this to him? Yeah, he would never do this. Good. Why do they put afternoon in two words? Good afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon, name. He walked alongside me. Looks like you've healed good. No scar, but you're young. That's to be expected. He watched me. Thought I kept my gaze to the floor, afraid if I looked at him, he would know something was wrong. Unfortunately, he didn't need to see the pain expression I was wearing. Are you doing okay? Taking care of the farm by yourself? He watched me carefully as I stepped ahead to open the door to Pierre's. He placed his hand on the door, preventing me from ignoring him. He would not do this. <laughs> my heart pounded no. in my ears. I tried not to, but I looked up at him. He looked very concerned. Not my Harvey. Hashtag not my Harvey. <laughs> we gotta get this trending. <laughs> we'll do it. Do you know what I saw on, on Twitter that was trending? What did I, I you saw? The, tr the hashtag Cumtown was trending. <laughs> and it turns out that's a place in Alaska. Are you for real? Uh, yeah, it's called Cumtown, Alaska. Cumtown, Alaska. And, and it was a picture of someone going, look, it's real. And they located <laughs> it. <laughs> oh my god. Name, I can tell something is bothering you. I don't mean to make you uncomfortable. I want to know. I want you to know my door is always open. You can come find me if you ever need to have someone to talk to about confidentiality. He let he let the door go, watching me closely. I knew if I knew I was blushing, stuck. Should I thank him? I no, <laughs> <laughs> no. But I knew this Harvey wouldn't feel the same way I dreamt he did. Your health is important to me. He pushed his glasses up, watching me. Waiting for some kind of response. Oh, I forced one. Thank you, doctor. I opened the door, needing my space from him before- I Hello? Come on. He called after me casually. Harvey is fine. <laughs> like, he, he- He- Yeah, like- Harvey's fine. <laughs> Harvey's fine. Like, uh, he's not like this. He's just not- <laughs> Don't worry, we only have, like, two more chapters. Oh, uh, okay. Like, he's awkward. He would not, like, prevent you from opening a door. He would be like, okay, bye, and then leave. Like, that's it. Dude, like, the like the first heart events that you get with him, he's very strict about being a doctor and being professional. Yeah. And then this one, he's being, like, really stern. <laughs> like, yeah. Nothing like, it. like, this is not my Harvey. <laughs> Hashtag not my Harvey. Hashtag not my Harvey. All right, let's see. Do you want? Do you want to read the first paragraph? Sure. All right. It was pointless to dance around it. I needed to get to know him more. <laughs> By the time summer was coming to an end, I had to admit that to myself. The evenings were growing darker, and I was getting used to that rooster's relentless schedule. I finished up harvesting my blueberries and gently placing them in the box for sale, then headed down the dirt road to the town. As I walked by, there was a small group of men stepping off the bus. They watched the bus take off until one of them noticed Abigail picking blackberries. Uh oh. What the fuck is this? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, beautiful. One of them called as three of them approached. Another one called. Nice hair. While well, the third one just laughed. Abigail got up to leave, but one of them grabbed her. Okay. What? All Did right. Did this person ever play Stardew Valley? I don't think so. I think I they think looked so. at pictures of him on Google and were like, I have to write something about this man. Nice. Well, they got the intro down. I mean, yeah, the intro was good. They have played at least the first 20 minutes of Stardew Valley. That we know for sure. Oh my god. Don't touch me, she growled, countering his hold and hoisting him over her shoulder, tossing him with unprecedented ease to the ground with a thud. The others jumped back. Oh, shit! Obviously surprised she was so strong. She ran and joined my side, and the three of them glared at me as we walked off. This is so Wattpad. Like, this is... 
I, I, the farther we go, the more Wattpad it gets. Dude, the first two chapters were so good, and then, like... Yeah, they were, like, they were and then okay. It's like... And then it was like... It I can't took even say this came out of left field. Line. It's not like it came from another ballpark. It really did. It came from another, like, state. Like, I don't even... Uh... Well, Abigail, <laughs> I smiled at her. Remind me not to piss you off. She smiled, her cheeks pink. The power of a- adrenaline. She punched my arm, causing me to wince. Be careful going home, okay? I've never seen those guys before, and they smell like beer. Jane? Um, yeah, I will. I smiled as she hurried off home, hence as the sun began to set. Adrenaline my ass, I muttered as I wandered over to the saloon. Maybe the doctor would be there, huh? It's Friday. <laughs> God. I knew the door was locked after three at the clinic. Damn. <laughs> Memorizing the schedule. I say that as if I don't do that shit, too. Um... <laughs> So this was my best bet until tomorrow. As I entered the well-lit pizza-smelling saloon, I noticed the mayor talking with Marnie. She was blushing, wine in hand, laughing at something he must have said. Cute. I bought a couple beers from Gus and noticed Shane drinking alone by the fireplace. Just let him fucking drink it by himself. <laughs> I grabbed yeah. the beer and walked over. He downed the last of his keg and looked up at me. He didn't seem drunk or happy. <laughs> I'd give you a pot of gold if it meant you'd leave me alone. Grumbled. Jesus Christ. I laughed and offered him a second beer. He looked at it and then me and asked if I was sure. I then took a growly. How'd you know this is my favorite brew? <laughs> Go ahead. The best kind he had. Expensive, I smiled, taking a swig. Yeah, I can only afford to buy one a night, he smiled. At least now I might get buzzed. We laughed and talked for a while about how chickens are nicer and smarter than most cats. Huh? It was really fun seeing... <laughs> They're not nicer. They're I, I've been around several chickens. I mean, I guess they can be, but I don't like when Shane says it. Um, it was really fun seeing the kinder side of Shane. As our cheeks grew pink and our heads fuzzy, the saloon got a little quieter as three men from the bus stop walked in. Three, for you, three of your finest, barkeep. They approached the bar. Emily was there. She smiled politely. Welcome to Pelican Town. Three? She set up the glasses. And a kiss! And then pried, grinning sickly at her. The other two laughed. Us too, sweetheart. She smiled nervously and poured three glasses as Gus walked up, placing a hand on her shoulder. She looked at him and went to clean the shelves. Gus began to pour the beer himself, eyeing the men. Beat them up! Kick their Fuck ass! Them up. I suppose you boys are gonna pay for this fi fine ale? He smiled. Everyone then watched the men, cautious but polite. One of them kept glancing around, a scock of on his beard, on his bearded face. They were closest to Shane and I. The tall, tallest, smug-looking brute laughed heartily at Gus. Of course, he pulled a wallet out of his back pocket. As he flipped it open and pulled out cash, I looked closer. The license had a picture of a dog. <laughs> Did they mug him? <laughs> they mugged my boy. They, they, they got his ass, dude. <laughs> oh right, my god. They got one thing right about him. He is kind of weak. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> I jumped out of my seat and unintentionally grabbed their attention. Whoa, you alright? Shane watched me, same as the men, as I tried to slowly make my way around them and out of the saloon. The tallest man grinned at me as I passed. Stay safe out there. He's like down on the floor. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he looks like a scene out of Dega Rampa, like he's all like <laughs> his own blood and some old labyrinth. Oh, he has been discovered. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Stardew Rampa. Oh fuck! It hurt. As soon as the door shut behind me, I ran into the clinic. The doc. The door was slightly ajar. I opened to see it clean and normal. Harvey! I yelled. From outside, I heard a quiet groan. 
I ran back out, looking around. A small rustling came from the side of the building. I rushed around and gasped. They got him! They mugged him and threw him in a bush. (laughs) (laughs) This is insane! I rushed around and gasped, nearly falling over or throwing up. Harvey was sprawled out on the ground behind a bush. His clothing was covered in mud and blood. Boopers, they kicked him <laughs> and broke his hand. The fingers of his right hand were all bent wrong. He had oh. a black eye and a lot of blood on his face. His glasses were broken, but he was awake. He tried to move when he saw me, contorting his face in pain. What the hell? No one does this for a wallet. They had, like, motive. They're like, that's that motherfucker over there. <laughs> <laughs> they saw him on the street and they're like, get this loser! <laughs> my oh head my was God. spinning. That's when I felt my head hit the wall. Oh. Oh. <laughs> my head was spinning. I fell to my knees to in front of him. Oh my God, Harvey? A piece of glass <laughs> fell from the frame of his glasses as he smiled. You, you should see the other guy. <laughs> Die. Oh my God. <laughs> I almost smiled. Your hand. I looked at the crooked fingers, obviously broken and purpling. He glanced at it and tried to sit up. Oh my god. Like... (laughs) This is insane! My boy got mugged (laughs) and beat up for a while. Wow. Wow. Okay. I'll be fine, he grunted. I reached my arm under his shoulder and helped him stand up. He gasped like his leg was in pain. I just need to gasp. He sounded tired from just from stranding, standing. My heart was tearing in two. I need to stay with him and help him, but more than anything, I wanted those men to suffer. I felt <laughs> hatred bubble up in my throat. I helped him, his arm over my shoulders, as we slowly made our way around the bush to get inside. Are we about to commit a murder? A triple homicide? We're about to murder them. (laughs) The three men were heading our way. My heart stopped. I tried to rush Harvey inside, but he winced. Everything must be wrong. Oh, sorry. Something must be wrong with his knee. (laughs) The men called out to us. Everything okay? Trying to act innocent. Scum. You and okay, Grandpa? Harvey glanced up at them, and I felt... Tim tense. They jogged up, the shortest bearded man eyeing me and the doctor, probably wondering what he had told me. I glanced at all of them to help with them. Oh my god. Everything's fine, boys. Just fell. Harvey tried to smile at them, but I could tell it was difficult. Oh, Harvey. (laughs) You fell, huh? The short one didn't look pleased, but the tallest waved a hand at him. I'm glad you're okay. Need any help getting inside? His grin was menacing. I could tell he just wanted us away from prying eyes. No, that's okay. I tried to take a step, but the shortest shortest stepped in front of me. Panic started to set in. We insist, he growled at me, and then I heard Sam call out to us. Hey! Him and Sebastian came running up. Is the doctor okay? What happened? Sam was genuinely concerned. Sebastian just looked at Harvey and me and then to the three men. Strangers exchanged looks and the tallest smiled at Sam. We were just offering to help, but if you boys got this, we should be somewhere else. And then they walked back towards the bus stop. The shortest glanced back at me. Sam took the doctor's other arm and Sebastian opened the door for us. Dr. Harvey, what happened to you? Sam pressed as we were helping him sit in the vacant patient's bed. He sighed and smiled at the concerned teenagers. Just a misunderstanding. I'll be alright now. You boys need to go home and rest. I'm sure your parents are worried you're late coming home. Sam looked like he was going to protest, so I jumped in. I'll make sure he's okay. Sam and Sebastian glanced at at each other and me, then Harvey. Sam nodded and they left. Well, this is like, like I don't even know what's happening anymore. I don't know either. This is the, the last final part. chapter. Yeah. Okay, it looks pretty short. Dude, okay. you don't have to worry about updates. This thing has been updated that's since true. 2019. Oh, this is this is the final part. 
All right. How you feeling? You like it? Um, you know, uh, it's like a roller coaster. Same. (laughs) (laughs) What's gonna happen now? I have no idea. It has continued to stun me and keep me on my toes. I'm glad you're enjoying this. At least we're at the final chapter, which I know you're getting yeah. about. Which I know you were really enjoying this. So, <laughs> God. All right. Would you like me to read the the first paragraph? Um, if you want to, because I can't remember who did the last one. Me either. Just snap them back. Wouldn't that hurt? I held his fingers in my hand gently. He grabbed the side of the bed. Yes, do it quickly, and then we can put it in the stains. He saw how scared I was. It's okay. You can do this. You won't break me. I've been broken already. (laughs) (laughs) I'm as broken as I can be. My glass, my bones are made of glass, and my (laughs) skin is made out of paper. (laughs) He smiled lightly. I tried to feel confident. I took a deep breath and pushed hard on his fingers. It made a loud snapping sound, causing me to jump as Harvey yelled. I jumped back. <laughs> I'm sorry! Shit! Fuck! <laughs> he was breathing deeply, but he watched his purple fingers move slightly. It's alright, you did a good job. Now reach into the left-hand drawer, there should be some packages of metal and gauze. I did as I was told, and he instructed me how to apply the stints. After I grabbed a rag and wet it in the sink... Uh, he had taken off his useless glasses and closed his eyes as I cleaned the blood and mud off him. To be fair, they were broken, so the lenses are broken. Yeah, I mean, they are pretty... Every time you fish glasses out of the pond, Harvey has gotten beaten up again. That's canon now. It is. (laughs) Why'd you let them get away with this? I felt tears roll down my cheeks as I looked at the damage they've done. His face was so badly bruised and cut up. He smiled. <laughs> they would have have they would have hurt you too. There's no need for that to happen. I, I tried not to sob and grabbed some paper towels to dry off his face. I carefully placed bandages on his forehead and jaw, silently admiring that even like this he was handsome. Priorities here. There are priorities. <laughs> they took your wallet. <laughs> Not as important as making sure they didn't hurt you or those boys. He sighed. I'm sure Mayor Lewis will understand why I'm late on rent. I smiled. I st- he still had his eyes closed as I placed the last bandage. I felt my heart racing and my cheeks. Do- did- girl, this is not the time. Yeah, like, this is unnecessary, she- unprofessional. Felt- Unpro- this is F tier, F tier behavior right now. <laughs> I feel like I like I should risk it, so I leaned forward to kiss him. I felt Girl. intense, knowing I would, knowing he must have opened his eyes. I knew I was bright pink. He probably has a busted lip. You're probably hurting him, <laughs> bro. He's like he got his ass beat. <laughs> yeah, he tensed up because he's in pain. <laughs> oh, he didn't move. He's hurting. <laughs> he didn't pull. He's dead. <laughs> My heart beat loudly in my ears as time froze. Was this a dream, or did I just ruin things? Scared, I gently pulled away and saw that he was red watching me. Because he's got blood on him. (laughs) We didn't speak for a moment. I started to feel like I had been stupid to think he was okay with that, and quickly stood and turned for the door. He didn't call out to me as I left. The fact assuring me that he didn't feel the same. I cried as I walked home. How naive I've become. Bro, what the fuck? What? <laughs> what the hell? When you said he didn't move, I was like, oh shit, he fly <laughs> Like, he's... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bro, wait. <laughs> that is not an appropriate time. Oh my god. F tier, F tier. F tier. Your shame. That night I had no dream, and then I woke up and I felt empty. I felt like my self image romance was ruined, and I had been the cause of it. I didn't even consider going to see him, though I wanted to know if he was okay. After returning to my garden, I noticed I had some mail. In the small envelope was a note. 
name. I'm sorry if I upset you last night. I didn't know you felt that way. You should stop by the clinic sometime so we can talk. Dr. Harvey. And what a no new way to know to like end this. Like <laughs> Harvey getting beat up. I'm just getting rejected. It's like Wow. Fire. All of the comments are like <laughs> <laughs> like, give us more. Well, that was a journey that we just went on. So, how'd you like it? Um, you, it was it was unique. I'll say that it was definitely unique. Absolutely, it is. Never <laughs> stumbled upon a piece of fiction quite like this one. It's such a fantastic uh, specimen. <laughs> That's one way to put it. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, nice fan art to accompany uh, the chapters. Nice stolen fan art. <laughs> I give this one a five out of ten. Uh, uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you feel like lower. <laughs> no, oh, no I was, this is this your is favorite. Like... It's gotta be like a ten out of ten. Oh yeah, this one. It, it's so unique. It doesn't even belong on a scale. <laughs> Please check out, I will have the, the story linked if you guys would like to read it. Uh, please yes. do not harass the author. <laughs> For fuck's sake. That's the last please thing God. I need. <laughs> you know, so oh my God. Sure check out Coda. I will have their stuff linked below. Yay. This is fun. Hopefully I can get you in yes. next time when I read the total dramatic fanfiction. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, this was fun. This was good. Absolutely. <laughs>